It's rare to find a company with good news in a coronavirus world, but A2 Milk says sales in January and February into China have exceeded expectations. The infant formula producer has reported a 21% increase in half-year profit to $177 million after doubling its sales into China and increasing its operations in the US. I spoke to interim CEO Jeffrey Babbage from New Zealand. Jeffrey Babbage, welcome to the business. Thank you very much, Rachel. Jeffrey, a 21% increase in profit is a solid achievement. What drove it? Well, look, uh, in fact, every segment of our business has performed very, very strongly. Uh, we're delighted. Our China business, our Australian business, and in fact, our US business have shown extremely solid growth and performance during the six month period. You've increased the number of stores selling infant formula in China to 18,000. Your infant formula sales in that market have doubled in the half. It makes up a huge portion of your business though, so you must be concerned how significant the coronavirus will be on your second half profit results. Well look, our business has traditionally been selling a lot of product into China over many years through a variety of different channels. Clearly, as you mentioned, we've been particularly focused on growing our China label uh, business uh, direct into mother and baby stores, and our, our store numbers have increased. Um, but we've got a number of different platforms for entry of product into China. We've just indicated today that, uh, that uh, certainly the coronavirus is having an impact on our business. It's fair to say just at this stage, it's been a positive impact on our business for the first two months of January and February. Uh, where our volumes and sales have been uh, performing above expectation. Now how that's going to play out for the balance of this uh, financial year for the next four months is very difficult for us to, uh, to, you know, to have a handle on at this point of time. Uh, and so we're indicating it could be a positive or negative uh, impact for, for the half. But certainly for the first two months uh, we're seeing very strong, uh, very strong revenue. That's interesting. A lot of companies across the, the broad spectrum of those who operate in China and Australia have a more negative impact, of course, of the coronavirus and a more negative outlook. But you're saying so far things have been pretty good. Well, look, the reality is our product, if you like, is not discretionary. Uh, we clearly have a strong brand franchise. Uh, the business has been building its, its distribution uh, uh, footprint, uh, particularly over, over recent years. And so clearly, uh, as long as we can get product to, to customers uh, and ultimately to consumers uh, in China, then uh, you would expect, in fact, our product to be uh, in demand. And that's certainly been seen to be the case for the first two months of January and February of this calendar year. China is a country where large parts of it are shut down, people are in quarantine. How are you getting your product to customers? Well, in respect of physical distribution, uh, we've got a very strong partner in, in China State Farm, who is our distribution partner. They're a state-owned enterprise. They're working very hard to, to get the product, uh, uh, particularly to, to stores where logistics allow. Um, so look, they're doing a very good job. We're also supporting them by not only bringing product in through sea freight, but also air freighting product. Um, and a product such as ours, um, as for example uh, for medical products, there is a priority in, in obtaining clearance at port uh, for product to get into China. So look, um, you know, we're not saying that the distribution channels have not been impacted, but uh, we are, you know, we are performing well uh, within, that, uh, within that environment at this point of time. Of course, no one knows how long the coronavirus restrictions will continue uh, and they seem day by day to be increasing in the area and what parts of the world are impacted. Are you prepared for things to go the other way and for those supply chains to be negatively impacted? And, and if so, what preparations are you taking for that? Well, look, as I said, we've got a, a very competent um, uh, distribution partner in, in China State Farm who can, who can attempt to navigate as best as possible uh, in the circumstances. We are expecting um, you know, the matters around the coronavirus to continue for some time. But there are also other channels um, of, of distribution uh, into China, um, the cross-border e-commerce online channel, uh, the Daigo channel. 
um, they're all performing strongly. Uh, people are accessing those to, to try and, and get products. So look, we're, we're obviously preparing to, to be able to respond as quickly as we can uh, to the movements that will occur you know, between those various uh, channels of distribution to the market. You've obviously got staff in China as well. Have any of them been impacted? Look, we've been very focused on, on our people, uh, the safety of our people in China. Um, uh, that's been a very key issue uh, for us. Um, we've been fortunate that, uh, that our staff have remained safe. Uh, there is a family member of one staff member that's been impacted by, by the virus and that's been a matter of concern to us. Um, so look, we're very focused on, on doing everything we can to continue to maintain the safety of our staff and that will continue for as long as, as required. A2 Milk donated 12 pallet loads of baby formula to China this week. Any more plans for a trip like that? Look, we were delighted to have the opportunity to participate in that uh, mercy lift of, of product to, to China just recently. Uh, look, that follows a further initiative that we put in place a number of weeks ago with uh, a $3 million commitment to, to assist um, the work being done in China around the coronavirus, uh, a donation to the Red Cross, uh, other product uh, donations. And we've also put, uh, put forward monies to assist in, in work being done to identify a, uh, a vaccine for, for the virus uh, in Australia. So look, we're doing everything we can. We're very focused on trying to assist the Chinese community uh, as much as we can. And as I mentioned also, obviously focus on, on the safety of our staff. You're also pushing growth in the US. I wonder, has the US-China trade war had any implication, good or bad, for A2 milk operations there? Oh, look, I don't think the trade war specifically has impacted us, uh, you know, positively or negatively. But of course, in a sense, we are a business in the US that is based in the US. We source milk from, from dairy farmers in the US. We're obviously selling product to, to consumers. Um, um, so in, in that sense, it's very much, if you like, a US business um, and we're very pleased with the growth that we're achieving to date. The Australian arm also saw growth in the half. What plans have you got to further increase those numbers? Well, look, the fresh milk business in Australia do, you know, continues to perform very strongly. We achieved a record uh, market share uh, position at the end of December of 11.2%. We're very pleased with that. Um, we obviously uh, are of the view that our market share will continue to grow. The product has a very strong brand franchise. The benefits of, of our product being A1 protein free are clearly being understood by many, many consumers. So we're very positive about the prospects for, for that business moving forward. Geoffrey, you're the interim CEO. When can shareholders expect a more permanent announcement to be made in that role? Well, look, there's a search process underway uh, for, a, for a replacement uh, to, uh, CEO to come in the business. I think you'd, you could expect that that would be occurring in the second half of this, uh, of this calendar year. Um, the board will be very considered how it takes that process forward. And I'm certainly very, very comfortable to assist uh, staying in my role as long as, as that process takes. Geoffrey Babbage, it's great to talk to you on the business. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you.